So you are in Fez and we are all in Fez. Very welcome and welcome and welcome. Hello Morocco. <laughs> oh. Okay, but like actually this is a Roman tile. All right guys, headed out from Chef Town and headed to Fez today. One last look out of this cool window. Pretty amazing view if I do say so myself. Got all of our stuff packed. <laughs> My pack looks ridiculous. All right guys, we got about a 15 minute walk to the bus station. How you doing this morning, Patty? Good. Nobody out on the streets in the morning, it's super nice. I am most excited to go to Fez because it's 16 degrees warmer there. <laughs> it is pretty cold here. <laughs> The walls around the old Medina are so cool. Alright guys, we made it. Definitely worth it to save like six or seven bucks. Basically paid for like half of our Airbnb tonight, so not too bad. And now we're getting some breakfast at the bus station. Look at this cat in the tree. Somebody call the firefighters. Guys, look at this fire breakfast. That's our bus. Guys, how tasty does that look? Making a little pit stop. How's the bus ride so far for you, Patty? Cool. The bus ride's actually pretty nice and super smooth and the roads are actually very nice in Morocco, surprisingly. And we got about an hour and 20 minutes left, so it's kind of weird, but we're like stopping for like a solid half hour right now. See you guys back on the bus. I hope it's not some raining. school you know the american language center mm, okay students from america they come to study arabic patricia don't worry take a picture okay we're not gonna kidnap it okay good <laughs> when you contact me look i bring you here too i wish you the best too one day inshallah we took a taxi from the bus station, waited outside this hotel, and then our Airbnb sent a guy to come pick us up and take us through the Medina. Apparently it's hard to find the Airbnb, so we'll be the judge of that. Ow. Just hit my head. Guys, Patricia's hiding. Guys, we ordered chicken sandwiches and they're like, almost like a chicken sandwich calzone. Looks really good though. Just had our first nice dinner in Fez, hopefully one of many. And now we are headed back to our hotel to go to sleep after a long travel day. <laughs> go to sleep and it's like still daylight. <laughs> oh, there's a rainbow. Oh, rainbow. Wow. What's up guys? It is a beautiful morning in Fez. Temperature is absolutely perfect. Not too warm, not too cold. And we're about to go on a tour <laughs> of the ancient Medina. Do you guys remember the driver who picked us up yesterday from the bus station? Well, he's also a tour guide. So it worked out perfectly and he's gonna take us around Fez today, teach us more about the culture and history here, and of course we'll share it with you. Right now we're headed to breakfast before we go. Also, Fez. look how cool these streets are. We are back at the same place we had dinner last night just because the wait staff is so kind and it's convenient and the food is really good. Yeah, it's oh, like the it's, best food we have in Morocco. Yeah, it's called Cinema Cafe. Guys, look how bougie the drinks are they brought us out. Okay, so let's be real. 
Moroccan food is not our favorite. It's just very dry, pretty well seasoned. But what I will say without any doubt in my mind is that Morocco has the best drinks ever. Like the coffee is really, really, really good. The mint tea is the best drink I've ever had and it's Moroccan. And then the orange juice, I'm so surprised. We're from Florida and we love orange juice, of course. And I just didn't expect like the cold and the dry environment to have the most fresh orange juice ever, but they do. And it's so good. Time to head to our tour. I feel so energized. <laughs> Guess how much our breakfast cost. Okay, I had an omelet, we forgot to show you. Mountain had pancakes, we had orange juice and coffee and tea each. Guess, I'll wait. Okay, it was six dollars. Six US dollars. That's a sled. A <laughs> palace. <laughs> Royal palace. <laughs> All by bronze and they meet by a professional Jewish family. We will stop there and we will make picture. Okay, so right behind me you can see the entrance to the royal palace and we're in the middle city, which dates back to the 14th century. So Fez is broken up into the old, old Medina, which is from the 9th century. Middle city is from the 14th century and they have the new city, which was constructed by the French and it dates to the 20th century. Behind us we can see the entrance and this is constructed by the Jewish. There's a big Jewish population here that we didn't know about. So the history of Morocco is that the Berber people were here first, then the Jewish came, and then the Arabs. There's a lot of Jewish history here, and we're actually in the Jewish quarter as well. But yeah, check it out. It's really beautiful. The details are insane. Look how insane the details are on this door. I'm pretty sure it was all done by hand, with a hammer. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, that's crazy. Back in the car. Hi, are you a YouTuber? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Look. I see a picture, no problem. In English, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. When you see something. The samurai armor looks crazy. And then just keep going to the new. So I said I want to. So those right there are the Roman roads? Yes. So you are in Fez and we are all in Fez and you're welcome to Fez and I say hello to everybody in the wall and anyone's come you're welcome and a big welcome to Morocco and big welcome to Fez and when you come back here when you come into Morocco feel like at home it's peace country and thanks to our King Mohammed VI they protect the city and very welcome and welcome and welcome hello Morocco <laughs> So this tour is pretty awesome so far. He just asked us, hey, do you guys want to go see some Roman ruins on our way to the gardens? He just dropped us off here and we're about to go see some Roman ruins. Yeah, so today we are spending our day outside of the Medina and we get to see Roman ruins, castles, the wall, and more that we don't know. Yeah, and views of the Medina as well. So it's really interesting to learn about. Absolutely. Okay, low-key guys, we're like on an active archaeological dig and there's like no tourists here. And he's not allowed to come in. And he's not allowed to come in, but he said we were allowed. Maybe we'll find a Roman ruin ourselves. There's like archaeologist tools here. Guys, there's literally archaeologists currently working on this. Ah yes, an arrowhead. Okay, but like actually this is a Roman tile. Don't touch it. I am touching it. Don't. <laughs> How does it feel being a Roman ruins archaeologist? I have discovered so much in my career. I don't know what's going on, but we're literally in their like work site. <laughs> and it feels wrong being here, but I'm embracing the moment because this is really, really, really cool.
these? Are those sheep or goat or lambs? It's quite literally an active dig site. <laughs> There's ruins everywhere. That was amazing. This probably won't be free in the future, but we just like walked in here. So, <laughs> free for us. <laughs> But it's a travel hack, come to an uh, <laughs> active archaeological dig site. <laughs> Guys, I really want to go in this tunnel. Should I? <laughs> so, because that, so you, you use, use red clay or terracotta, it's so different. This kind of material, this is before the oil and pit. Why oil and pit? Because first firing takes like seven, eight hours, they change color. It's 900 degrees. Wow. So Whoa. this is the bottom. Whoa. So now the top, the it makes it look so easy. The bottom only by eight. Wow. <laughs> Perfect. Close the just put your chest. You can stop. Okay, also, it's good for skin, so the ladies need to wash their faces. Crazy, it does this all by hand. I know. Artist. Artist. Take it off. Take it off. Okay. okay. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> so first they prepare the pieces, and after they put round of iron, and they put the glue, touch, it's more smooth, polish. Come here if you have money and you want to buy mosaics from Fez. We'll be back here in the future when we're rich. Like the North Castle on the other side, there's Cano to watch the city. We've made it to the other side of the Medina. We were at the North Castle, now we're at the South Castle. And apparently back in the Middle Ages, I don't know, whenever, when they had to protect the city, there's an underground tunnel that runs between the two castles that the army would use to get back and forth to protect the city. Because me, it's forbidden to go with you in the Medina. Uh, okay, sounds good. Here, yeah, original bread. Can wait. I guess we're going to get some bread on the side of the road for lunch. <laughs> That's where he buys his local bread. Interesting. Hey, where they cook them, yes, tradition. <laughs> How is it? It's good, it's hot and fresh. So, like we said, we stopped off on the side of the road and we got bread that I guess we're going to eat with our lunch. And we have lima beans, more bread, and this is a very authentic tour. We enjoy it. <laughs> Time for a local lunch at this guy's favorite restaurant. Yeah, we are so far out of the Medina. No tourists come here. Yeah, like and a half hour drive. Yeah, and this is his favorite restaurant in his neighborhood, and we're going to try some traditional Moroccan food. Yes. Okay, I take back what I said about Moroccan food this morning. This food is really good. I guess we just weren't eating in the traditional and local places. But, see this? I like to get the optimal bite with all the spices. So I put the eggplant, the lima bean, and the pico on my bread. The bread that we got off the side of the road. Okay, so we tried the tagine and it's really good. And now we have this mysterious meat. We're not sure if it's, it looks like beef, but we're really hoping it's not camel. Tastes like steak. Hopefully it's not camel steak. Could be. All handmade. Nice. Even the doors, I just make it. Hmm. Look. This size is it was old. I just changed them. Nice. Everything. Very 
Just to show you that. You know, we're rocking furniture. We have uh, Blanco coffee. We have uh, the restaurant, everything here. But. Orange. This orange is uh, is a lime. Oh, really? It's a lime, yeah. For that. So right now we're at a garden. I think it's our last stop on our tour. And a little fun fact about me, I'm rather introverted and Moroccans are the most chatty, talkative people ever and they're draining my social battery. But today's been really fun and I think that's it for today. morning everybody today is a new day but we're including it in our full day vlog touring the medina of fez we have two updates for you one that tour was kind of weird that we did exploring the outside of the medina it started really well but we realized we were on an unsanctioned tour so the guy actually couldn't take us into the medina and that was fine we were really glad to be in the army museum and the roman ruins which now we can see from this new terrace but then it got weird we got taken 45 minutes away from the medina and taken to his airbnb so we were taken to a lot of different shops and basically we're just sales pitched the whole time okay quick little intermission we got orange juice and coffee we're being served breakfast up on the rooftop right now i'll say it once and i'll say it again morocco has the best orange juice in the whole entire world better than florida I don't know why, but the fruit and the vegetables here are so fresh and good. We were taken to all these shops and we were basically sales pitched for a few hours and that was just a little bit exhausting having to say, no, no, we're not interested in buying a whole mosaic table at this moment in time. <laughs> Where are we gonna put it in our backpacks? And then we got taken 40 minutes outside of the Medina to this restaurant for lunch and we were just served food and it ended up being $30, which in hindsight isn't that expensive, but it definitely wasn't something that we had planned for so and then we were taken to his airbnb and he basically forced us to film it as an ad and yeah we didn't include that it was just a really weird experience and we kind of had no say but we're here the second update is that we are in a new hotel in fez because our old airbnb smelt like straight sewer and it was nice it's a nice quaint little airbnb and we had a kitchen and a bed and a bathroom but the bathroom was like open to the room there were no walls so that was a fun experience and it smelled like sewer really really bad and so our clothes started to smell like that and we just decided we needed to get out of there so we're at this new hotel which we'll actually link below because it's lovely it's called the shack shack hotel yeah today is our last day in fez so we are going to do a little bit of exploring around the medina just see the final things we need to see before we leave including the tannery and the oldest university in the world and we'll take you along with us. But Morocco's been an interesting journey for us so far. Those are the Roman ruins that we were at yesterday. And there's the castle. Guys, Moroccan breakfast is the best, just because it's really good and the presentation is the best. Look. So we made it to the famous tannery of Fez and they gave us a little piece of mint to cover up the smell. It mostly smells very terrible because they use pigeon poop to help tan the leather. That's pretty much all I can retain. So check out these views. We wash the leather with water and salt. Headed to check out the university. Oldest university in the world. <laughs> Okay, so we're trying to find our way around the University of... I don't know how to pronounce it, so you guys can let me know. Try it, try it for us. I don't know, you guys can let me know in the comments how to pronounce it. This university dates back to 859, so it's the oldest university in the world, and it's been continuously operating ever since then. So that makes it the oldest university in the world. It looks rather closed, so we're not sure if we can get in. Behind me is the library of the university. And we're gonna keep walking around, see if we can get a sneak peek inside. But pretty cool to be here. 
We are on a mission to get more cash. Apparently there are no ATMs in the Medina, so we're gonna go leave. It's about a 20 minute walk and I don't know, hopefully get cash. It's crazy this is all outside, but like so inside. We have obtained the cash. <laughs> now we are going to go get some food for dinner because the food outside of the Medina is like really good. So we're gonna get some food and then put it in our fridge and ask our hotel to warm it up later. So we'll see how that works. We'll just fire orange juice while waiting to get our to-go order. Yep, we have to enjoy every moment of this orange juice as we possibly can. It's like Dog got an alley back in here. It's so, crazy. so, we're going to go ahead and end the vlog here because the rest of our plans for today just include having dinner on the terrace and then getting a massage. So, we're done sightseeing in Fez and we picked up some postcards for our friends and family back at home, but we also thought of you guys. So, we have two postcards that we want to send to two of our subscribers. So, all you have to do is just comment anything in the comments. Maybe your favorite site of Fez or where you're from. I don't care, anything. And then we'll privately message you to get your address and send you a little handwritten card from Morocco. So, we'll pick a subscriber in five days and then we'll message you then. Thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of this long vlog. I hope you enjoyed walking around the old Medina of Fez with us and we will see you tomorrow. We begin our Sahara Desert trip tomorrow, so you'll want to stick around for that. Have a great day. Bye. How do you feel being a Roman ruins architect? I have discovered so much in my Wait, career. architect? Wait. Archaeologist. Oh, yeah. How do you feel being a Roman ruins architect? No, what is it called? Archaeologist. <laughs> God. I want to see how long that's going to take you to chew. That was a huge bite. <laughs>